The black box, voice recorded from a Lion Air flight, which crashed off the coast of Jakarta in October, has been recovered, said officials on Monday. All 189 people on board died when flight JT610 fell into the sea shortly after taking off. Father shot Johnny to Panko Pinang. The pilot had asked air traffic control for permission to turn back to the airport but then contact was lost. Investigators say the plane had encountered technical problems. The main body of the aircraft has never been found. D. The bright orange voice recorded was found at least 50 meters. 165 foot from where the first black box the plane's flight data recorder was found last November. The voice recorder was found on Monday morning, but was broken into two pieces. Hopefully it's still useful to investigators. Hello, said Miko, deputy head of Indonesia's Transport Safety Committee, KMKT told Agents France, press. Indonesia's Navy spokesman, Egan Nugroho, told Reuters that the record was found 8 meter deep on the mid on the southeast of Fla. Mr. Nugroho said that a weak signal from the recorder had been detected for several days. He added that the recorder had obvious scratches on it, but that it was unclear what damage it had suffered. Human remains had also been found near where the voice recorder was discovered, said Mr. Nugroho. When the flight data recorder was found in November, officials said that it could take up to six months to analyze data. Listening to the last conversations between the pilots and the ground control on the camera should help investigators finish piecing together what went wrong in the short flight. Flight JT610 took off from Jakarta at 6.20 on Monday, 23.00 GMT on Sunday. It crashed minutes after the pilot asked for permission to turn back to the airport. Findings by Indonesia's Transport Safety Committee KNKT suggest that the line error had put the plane back into service, despite it having had problems on earlier flights. The pilots appeared to struggle with an automated system designed to keep the P plane from storing a new feature of the Boeing 700 and the 37 MAX 2 and the stalling system repeatedly forced the plane's nose down. Despite efforts by pilots to correct this, the findings suggest